Hey, today we're doing today we're doing the awful uh, the thing we've always talked about the thing you try to avoid was the big commute. Yeah, it's just the commute today and tomorrow. Now we're leaving late in the day. We would have left in the middle of the afternoon or even in the morning if we had the choice. But it's um, hot. But it's too hot. It's very hot. So we thought, well, we'll leave later in the day, so it won't be quite as hot. Yep. It's still just as hot. So we thought, well, let's just do it anyway. It's still better. So we'll just drive. It's about 9.30 in the evening right now. I didn't know it was that late. It's late. <laughs> no wonder I'm tired. I've been busy maybe, for the last maybe seven to, hours. Maybe closer to nine. Anyway. Okay, six hours. Yeah, anyway. it's late. So we're just going to drive till we're too tired, pull over, sleep, and then drive the rest tomorrow. So, of course, we're bringing you along with us. My name is Lisa. My name is Kent. We're Living Light RV. We are grabbing life by the tail. And I'm just soon... going through the last few steps of making sure that Ruby is connected properly. So I got to get back to that. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll just give you guys a quick background on who we are. Two and a half years ago, we sold everything and we bought this vintage motorhome and we've been living in her full time. Her name is Bessie. That is Daphne over there. She's ready to hit the road, trying to deal with the heat. The big fluffy Alaskan Malamute is a pretty hard thing to do, but anyway. We just want to let you guys know we don't normally travel at night. It is not our preference for sure. We're going to take it easy, go nice and slow. Definitely be watching for wildlife. This next corridor that we're on is very well traveled. We're on the main roads. Yeah, so we're not expecting to have any problems, but just if you're new to full-time RV living, we just want to let you guys know it's ideal if you can travel not at night. Yeah, and our Berkey just broke. Oh yeah. It's hard to film stuff when it goes bad, right? So Kent did a bunch of corners and it fell over, hit the grounds, water everywhere, and our filters cracked. So I guess we're buying new filters. All right. All right, so we're gonna stay cool. We're yeah. gonna like stay cool hydrated. As in, cool as a cucumber. We're gonna stay awake and we have to tag team and make sure that we're uh, ready for this. Yeah, we've got coffee go. waiting for us. Let's go. All right, so I'll take it out of drive. Okay, the update is we made it up the big, big, big hill. Uh, Bessie did fine. And then we stopped just to catch some nice cooler air. Uh, did a full inspection and we're ready to hit it to Merritt and beyond. We'll see where we get to. We made it to Merritt, it is about 12.30. Yeah, it's in the middle of the night. Uh, gas stations all look uh, closed. One over there looked open. As long as you can pay at the pump. Yeah. Like, that's the only option. And you were fiddling around with the gas pump here. What was happening? Uh, I just put the card in. It, 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 it all of a sudden just started beeping. Like, it, I was like, oh, maybe the, this one actually is closed. Because it sort of looks closed. Yeah, uh, you but can't actually, go inside. But I, wow, look at that. I look amazing. It is a little bit cooler. It's wonderful, actually. Hey, when we were up at the summit, it was actually a lot cooler. Yeah, it was nice. It was great. And then we came down into Merritt, and it's like, yeah, this is nice. So when you're traveling in this area, and it's the middle of the night, don't assume that all the gas stations are open. Anyway, now we have to decide if we're going to stay here for the night, or if we're going to carry on. It, like I'm going to carry said, on. It's pretty late. You ready to I'm go? I'm going to carry on. Are you serious? Absolutely. To where? I got gas. Let's go. To Kamloops? I'm, I'll let you know when I get there. Let's I, th go. I think we should stop. We're I'm going. tired. I'm driving. Let's go. Ken's driving. He pretends We're to be. We're ready. He pretends to be all on and excited. I'm amazing. And then I know like within five ah, minutes she down has the road. No idea. He's gonna She'll be fast asleep and I'll be driving. He's gonna say, I'm so tired. Alright, let's hit the road. Let's go. Okay. Good morning. Hey, this is a really nice location. It's uh, just on the east side of Kamloops. It's the Flying J. But it's wide open and that river and that uh, uh, cliff on the other side across that it's just gorgeous
we got our coffee. We had this much sleep. Well, maybe this much. I'm feeling good. It looks great. It's starting to get hot. We've run the AC. Let's let's get going. This is gonna be a great day. Another thing that can happen. You can get stuck. <laughs> so we are just in traffic because of construction and Highway 1 almost always has some sort of construction happening and we've been sitting here for not very long thankfully like this is only about maybe seven minutes, seven or eight oh, minutes. No, no, no. Uh, 15. 15 minutes okay uh, but it's hot out so Make sure if you're gonna drive this road in the summer, we've done this road lots in the winter time. If you do it in the summer, make sure that you're prepared for that. So we've got the generator running, we've got the air conditioning running, uh, but man, we see guys on motorcycles out here and you know other vehicles and such. So you not might end up having to wait. Somewhere. Not pretty to have a vehicle that doesn't go anywhere and and cook, right? So yeah, you have to be prepared. Yeah. And just so you know, there is a website called Drive BC. You can check that out ahead of time and it'll tell you where the construction sites are, how long you can expect to wait, uh, when they're open, when they're closed, that kind of stuff. So that's a good resource to check as well as Google Maps will always tell you when there's a, a block on the road ahead. So we're having a great day. We're just trying to beat the heat. The dog got wet at the uh, public beach in Sycamus, but now she's panting again. So I think that's where we'll stop at the next uh, place where we can put her in the water because that helps her a lot actually so but yeah enjoying the day it's taking longer than we had planned but that's part of the journey right <laughs> so this is where we came when we went to through to Calgary to get the car taken care of and we stopped at Christmas time on this little lake here and you could scoop through the snow and find the ice where people were playing ice hockey. There was a little a little ice hockey rink uh, carved out, and we were walking on this pond. And then we now went we're now we're swimming in it. And looked at the uh, the flowing river. See the how flowing that river is. That's the Kicking Horse River. It is. This is awesome. And yes, we're in the water. <sighs> nice to take a break. It's a little bit. It's a bit smirky. Very much so. Pretty smirky. I yep. want to go swimming like in there, in the middle of it. I think that would be lovely out there. I like this river. Because this river is cold. And not too deep either. guys we're here we made it it's late we pulled in here about nine o'clock 9 30 at night we calculated it out what did we say hun 17 hours 17 hours of driving but Se that's okay i had four hours of sleep in the middle <laughs> 17 hours of driving with four hours of sleep wow he's my hero good job babe he did most of the driving like 99.9 percent .9 of it i think i drove for about 20 minutes <laughs> And now we're setting up at some friend's house. Man, we just love having friends to just hang out with. They're so helpful. This is real life. This is real RV life. This is a travel day and it's been hot. 
<laughs> and this is what we look like at the end of a travel day. But before I go in and get set up, I'm just going to show you this amazing sunset, you guys. Not a bad place to land, eh? All right, we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. We did it. Good morning. <laughs> we're here. Hey, we did it. We we were at a location in uh, Vancouver for quite a while. Well, three weeks. And then we packed up and left in a heat storm. So hot. It was crazy. You guys, it's heat like, wave. like 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In it did Canada. It for you. Are you so excited? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, and we're just not used to it. Just like some places in the States are not used to it being like minus 40. Exactly. We are not used to having it this hot. But hey, we're functioning and we're not really complaining because it's pretty nice. This is awesome. We are set up at a friend's place. You know, the only way to have a friend <laughs> is to be one. So yeah. make sure I thought, you... I thought you were going to say is if they have a yard that you can stay in. At a pool. <laughs> no, no can't be it's a true. friend. Yes. Yeah. It is the only way to live yeah and as you know we are all about people and relationships and connection yeah. and networking so which is why we're here it's why we're here and we are this whole next week actually yeah, is, well actually a couple of weeks is all going to be about friendships and yeah. about family we're today we're going to be getting our kid packed up our youngest daughter and her husband they're moving from city to city so we're gonna help them pack and a couple of days we're going to be helping them move that's why we drove the 18 17 hours to get here so in a heat wave, we're moving the kid. That's just what you do, right? And then actually we've got other family coming in to visit next yes. week. So it's going to be a couple weeks of just hanging out with people. When do we get back to RV leisure life? RV leisure life. I mean, we're going camping next week, so that's going to be fun. There you go. But we're going to be back on the road for our Living Light RV travels season six, heading up to Northern Alberta and Northwest Territories on August 2nd. So be ready for that. Those videos will be coming out shortly. Those will be huge. We can't wait to take you guys along with us. We're going to be experiencing mosquitoes. We're going to be experiencing lots of them. heat. We're going to be experiencing hopefully some wildlife, lots yeah. of really cool places to camp. And the rugged world up there. The nature is so beautiful in that area of the world. So can't wait to bring you guys with us. Thanks yeah. for hanging out with us today as we did our little quick trip, our commute as we call it from Abbotsford Sometimes to Calgary. living full time in an RV is about the rush, rush, rush and going way farther and, and, and just not not having okay having to wear the watch and having to yeah. watch the clock and and schedule everything's uh, stressful and then other times you get leisure so we get both yeah and that's what living life in the moment is all about that's what season six is all about thank you guys so much for hanging out yeah. with us and have a fabulous week and we will see you guys next thursday take care <laughs> <laughs>